Hello and welcome to another episode of the Free to Play and the Memorial Weekend went through. I was busy for the majority of it, however I did manage to get the event done. So I got the linebacker and also I took part in the sale. If we look here when I go select mech, I have 22 mech bays open right now. I was able to purchase 10 mech bays with all of the MC I had saved up on my Free to Play account. So I am just awesome for mech bays. I just I can buy all the mechs I want for the conceivable future. And we're just going to go along and try out this linebacker. Also over the weekend, I did uh, one of the streams. It was on Tuesday. And I got some more of my mechs leveled up. I've got the uh, Arctic Cheetah, the Wolfhound, the Huntsman, the Marauder, the Nightjur, all mastered out and ready to rock with the rest of them coming along quite nicely. But we're going to give the linebacker a try. And to do this for the first time is the dual ER PPC design. Now this is a little bit sort of like, man, you do this on every single mech or those sort of things. Like, it's a common design, but it's so good. What we've done is we've changed out that left torso to get the B left uh, torso and that gives us the extra energy hard point there. And as you can see, it has these greatly high, look at these, they're like the very top, they're the highest thing on the mech, the, those mounts. So if we didn't do that, you can run it with pure uh, stock pods and you can put one of the PPCs in your right arm and you can have sort of a right mounted uh, PPC volley thing. But I'm choosing to go with the high uh, mount so I can peek over stuff and also allows me to strip armor from my arms to get more heat sinks and a Mark I targeting computer in this thing. So we're gonna go out and give the speedy linebacker a try. And we're here on our first match on Canyon Network Skirmish. All right, we're moving forward here. This mech has a pretty good high engine. Uh, it's a very interesting trade-off. It has a very large engine, but it's also, uh, so it can move quickly doesn't have as much room for weaponry so that's why we're only going with the two PPCs which are quite light comparatively to a lot of heavy weaponry what we could take but with that uh, high engine it's got high speed and uh, with the engine desync they've given it as well some pretty decent uh, twist rates so this mech has the mobility to uh, snap these shots off and now you can see how quickly I can snap between different parts here in order to make a snipe I wanted to. We're going to continue flanking right. We're going to use our speed. We're going to go far right here. We're going to go across this bridge in Charlie 4 and we're going to try to get into Charlie 3 and do some snipes from that direction. Uh, across the bridge, now we're going to drop. We don't want to stay out there too long. Now we don't have any concern about what's uh, being hit in our arms there as they are sacrificial. They uh, they mean nothing to me, so we're going to continue moving right here as we are going to be flanking. Nothing here. All right, let's push forward a little bit further and poke around this side. Oh, there's an enemy. Put a couple PPCs. That is the hero. Ultra 10 and some small lasers. So he just has the Ultra 10 at this range, really, in order to contest me. So I can easily contest him in terms of DPS at this range. Acquired. So I'm not that frightened about him. Pushed him back, and that red line. He's getting learned. He's getting shot up. He was slowing down for some reason, but we got some hits into him. Acquired. Now there's a linebacker prime right down here. He's running a bunch of medium pulse lasers. We're just putting in the shots. He's running forward. Oh, stopped up. Hit that CT again. And we hit him one more good time. Target destroyed. Oh, he's dead. Target Excellent. Acquired. Kodiak is about to drop as well. Excellent. We're 2 0. This is going quite well. And we're just going to move forward and flank around our opponents. Are as they are not in a very good position right now. We're coming around here in Delta 3. Slow up around me. Come around this corner. And. She just. We'll just start volleying from this position. Putting shots into this stalker, like, constantly. Warning, 
Dodging missiles. Thankfully, rocks are OP for dodging missiles. We'll get back into cover. We'll wait for our cooldown. And we'll pop back out. And we can just throw fire down into that general area. As soon as we can see it, we can shoot over those ridge lines. We don't hardly need any clearance. Like as soon as I can have my targeting on them, I can hit them. So easy. Back into cover. Take those lerms into the hill, and then we're back out, putting shots into him, taking his side off, taking some of those lerms off, and he's going to go down here in a moment. Boom. Dead. Seven to two. Things are looking good. And this is exactly what this mech can do. Use that mobility to flank around them, get into a good position, and then just keep putting down PPC shots. Do, 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 do. Oh, God. Was that a Highlander or a Hellbringer? I didn't see that. Hellbringer. For some reason I thought it said Highlander. Must be crazy. Target but there was only destroyed. one enemy left. And it's a Raven. We're going to run him down. As we probably have the speed to chase down this Raven, which is the funny part. Although he's going straight through the center. Where is he going? Ah, uh, he went down before I could get to him. But good game to our opponents as we managed to pick up a win with 12-4. Let's take a peek at the post-game stats and uh, see how well we did. I'm guessing four? Yeah, 400. Uh, 137,000 C-bills. Zero kills. That's all right. We've got five assists, and one of them was a kill most damage dealt with 454 damage done and 1,700 experience. All right. Let's head into another match with the linebacker. And we are on River City Incursion. You know, very often you see an Incursion match. As pe typically, people will vote against it. But let us move forward here. As people were trying to maybe get their multipliers and failed to do so. We're going to rush out of the base here. There is a doorway right there. And we're actually fast enough that we can probably go and contest a battery. If not... Uh, take the battery, uh, shoot the lights that are trying to take it. So if maybe there is going to be an enemy light going for the battery in Fox 6, maybe I can get into position fast enough that I can pop them at least one good PPC shot by just dashing to this ledge as fast as possible. And that is a possibility for sure. Let's get into position. We shouldn't see any other heavies or anything that really can contest me at this speed this quickly out in the front and there is something there although I don't have a good shot on it it looks like it got the battery or maybe it did it hasn't gone into the battery yet it's a Nova we could take it back a battery too because we are fast enough oh, that one's been taken light has gone back it's okay we're gonna in the water here gives us extra heat dissipation with our legs. Might as well take a shot. It's not like we're gonna waste ammo or anything, and I'm already dissipating the heat quite quickly. But it doesn't look good here. I don't want to stick around too long, as we start seeing there is assaults, and our assaults aren't in position. So I'm gonna fall back a little bit here. Uh, it would, it was, I really wanted to stay forward there for just a moment until the enemy were in position and uh, I need to really get out of here I need to just turn and run and get up into G7 get back into cover as they had a lot of people there and in around the corner very good excellent all right let's wait for the next uh, sensors to pop up here it's gonna be in just a few seconds and it'll happen for five seconds so it should happen in one second here there we go we can see where they are. So they're all clustered there. We have this one light that is coming around the back. We could probably maybe go and poke. Uh, but they got incoming. Oh, they have. Ru Why are you shooting incoming missiles on a radar contact? You only have it for five seconds. That's ridiculous. Oh, well. We are up here. We're ready to rock. Here we go. Start putting some shots downrange. That quick draw doesn't know where the shots are coming from. New target acquired. There's also this assault mech, which we can put 
bullets into. And we'll reposition here. New target acquired. We will cover this flank, put shots down range, and then get back into cover. We're just going to poke that maybe once or twice more. I don't want to poke that too much, as there is a fair amount of enemies there. And it does cause a fair amount of damage when they shoot me. It's always painful. A little bit of frame derp there. Try to hit this spider. <laughs> it's like trying to hit the freaking mosquito with a rifle. It's ridiculous. But we'll just head back to our team. This is going to turn interesting. And it's getting dark. I might have to turn on my, my night vision now. And they're just holding. We need to either destroy their base or destroy them. New target acquired. <sighs> Come on. Should have kept running. Why didn't you keep running? New target acquired. Air control is not going to do much to theirs because there is no enemies in their base right now. Uh, air control brings in the dropship over their base that will attack them if they're hiding in their base. Uh, basically, it's an anti-camping uh, uh, thing. But as it stands, it didn't work because they're not in their base. They're camping on the other side of the river. I kind of wish we would just fly over the whole map slowly. That'd be kind of nice. We're going to get a radar here in a couple more seconds. We'll see where they are. Ooh, there's... Yeah, ooh, left side here. They're coming around left side. They're coming hard this side. We got our Atlas here, ready to accept them into his arms with great the big PPCs, SRMs, and all sorts of fun stuff. And we're waiting here as well as we pumped in the PPC into that thing. We do have some armor quirks, which is quite nice, and we're going to be using those. UAV over center, UAV over center. Can't shoot it down. Don't have arms. Thank you, Cheetah. All right, Cheetah's getting it. We gotta be appreciative of our light mechs who are doing their job shooting down UAVs. And if we want to, we can be a little bit sneaky there. We can try to shoot through those gaps in the buildings. Oh, there goes my left arm. Okay, we won't need radar anymore. We can Acquired. see them. We know where they are. <sighs> Missed the Marauder by a mile. That one hit, though, right into his left torso. Continuing to fall back around this corner as the enemies Acquired. push around. That Marauder put it in. He lost, lost his left torso. Excellent. Lost some heat efficiency there. We got a guy coming in the back here. We're ready for him to come across. There he is. Missed. Damn. New it's okay, though. Acquired. We can survive. Got some damage there. That Huntsman in the back. Let's, let's go back and flank a little bit left here. New target you know, I feel like we need to do some more damage on this side. We are losing people. This is not good. We're down three. New target acquired. We need to use our mobility. We need to go over here and pressure these guys on this flank, push them back into their team, not give them the opportunity to move forward. You took off an arm. Thankfully, it had nothing to do with my viability. Shit, I shot my roughneck in the back. I'm overheating. It's not good. It's not good. Thankfully, I'm still tanky as fuck. Linebackers are durable, at least. Lost a torso. Ugh, things aren't going well. We're gonna die. There's a light on my butt. Yeah, there was. Oh, it wasn't a light. It was a... It was a... <laughs> it was a fast person, but it did take us out. And unfortunately, we're not gonna win this match. Zero to five is basically a loss there without some magical thing to bring us back into the battle. We have a direwolf hiding. Come on, direwolf. Get out there and do some damage. That's it. See? Do some damage. You can wreck the shit up about these guys. 
Don't hide, you got him on the ropes, but Don't no, hide. zero to eight. Let's see, we have a linebacker somewhere. And we've got a bushwhacker who went down, and who do we have left? We have a gargoyle, a small pulse gargoyle. These things are scary, but unfortunately he's dead. And all we have left is that linebacker and that direwolf. Linebacker is going to the enemy base, but it's not going to be fast enough, acquired. not going to be good enough at this point. The Jenner 2C has spotted him, so he's not going to even get there uh, covertly. And the direwolf has gone down, so all that's left is this linebacker. Acquired. Although the enemy team, nope, looks like they're coming back. So they are coming back to get the linebacker and not uh, go for the base kill. It doesn't look like this uh, Jenner is going to need the help as this linebacker is missing all of his shots and goes down to the Jenner. So, yeah, now all they have to do is just tickle the enemy, tick, tickle our base at some point, and we lose. But, uh, yeah, a little bit of salt there in chat. Nah, don't be salty. You don't win every single one, Mr. Uh, Source Mystic. <laughs> you can't win every single match, and you're just being salty in an online game for some reason. Don't do that. But soon... Ah, there they are. They're going through the walls, and they just tickled the base. That's all they needed to do to trigger the auto-win result. And we lost this match 1 to 12, but those happen. Let's see what the post-game stats are like. I felt like I did some good damage. I got 352. That's decent. I got one of my PPCs into somebody's backside, though, which is very unfortunate. And lost a little bit from that. We got 59,000 C bills, 0 kills, 1 assist, 352 damage. Let's try to do better in the next match. And for our last match of this episode, we are on. HPG Manifold, and hi YouTube, <laughs> well, YouTube says hi, say hi to uh, Cotton, whatever his name is, I don't understand sometimes all of those uh, letters and gerbils afterwards, don't make sense to me, but we're moving forward, use these high mounts, use this speed, we're going to get up top here in Echo 6, and then snipes the snipes to all the snipes. Right up here. Peek myself over this ridge and boom, we see people coming in. Put some fire down range. Target acquired. We got the spider up top. Oh, he cut at that last moment. He kept going straight. I would have hit him. God damn. Ooh, ooh, hello. Yeah, get that spider in the back. Yes, that is the plan. Okay, we're out of here. No, no, not yet. We still got enough uh, allies nearby to not worry about it. Okay, now we're out of here. Inkling missiles, and we're being pinned by a, a, a Kodiak. Now we reposition. We've shot at one point for too long. New target so we need to acquired. rebase. Resnipe somewhere else. Let me see what's up top. No, nothing up top. Ooh, New somebody there. Acquired. Who are you? Oh, here's the Kodiak. Boom. Oh, I just missed him. God damn. Alright, looks like most of our team is under. Very interestingly. Moving, maneuvering acquired. around. We got a Kentaro backed down into my firing lane by giving me enough depression there with my guns. Mauler, who we should just be able to wreck, right? We should be able to just walk around this corner and wreck this Mauler. If not, we can move back here and hey, Mr. Warhammer, take some extra CT shots while I maneuver around. And that guy is down to red CT, and that is not good for him. We'll pop back up here. New Get that acquired. little bit of height just by backing up this thing and pump some shots into that linebacker. Warhammer's acquired. back in the battle. Oh, God, get out of my ah, ways. Ah, well. Didn't get the shot off. The Warhammer is open CT. We should be able to sneak a shot into him here. We gotta be careful, acquired. though. We do have the, the highest mounts possible in the game. We could sneak a shot right into New his back. Target. Excellent. Acquired. Opened up his back armor for the future. 
And that mad dog, we so can take off its side torso here if we get a good hit. If not, we're just we're just pegging people with shots constantly, man. Like, this is good. Guy can't even respond to us. We have such high mounts. We, we just see the little tippy toppy of his head and we can put her in a shot. That guy's right there. We're pushing forward a bit. Put it in the hit to the Kodiak, even though we can just barely see him. And uh, we're doing good. We're doing good. Let's uh, move up here and let's uh, finish him. Get down into cover after that. It's, yes. Okay, there we go. We're in cover. Keep moving forward. That guy is dead and standing there. And got this Kodiak. We can put the hits into him. Opening him up. That guy's below because he's not behind me. He's below me. Okay, got to remember that. That assault back there is actually not a threat. Boom! We land that guy, and we take him out. And uh, this cicada here coming in, but we land a good hit as he uh, peers off. And one more into that Kodiak. We're doing the opposite of the previous game. We are wrecking face as we land another thing into that cicada. Opening it up on all sides, and our three mechs down there will take him out quite quickly. And he goes down. New target acquired. Oh, I just missed the X5. If you had kept moving forward, if you had kept moving forward, you bastard. You bastard. The incoming missiles. Oh my god, okay, we're gonna push this in. We're not gonna sit there and let the missiles missile me. To missile To misery. We can just go on in and say, hey, missiles, you can't do shit when I'm beside you. And he did. And now. Oh god. We can have a person, but he died. Excellent! It's 11-1! It's the exact opposite of the previous game. We're winning like crazy, and the last is a panther. He goes down, kills himself, and uh, we win. Excellent game. He showed the strengths of the mech, the super high up mounts, using it to poke at that mech, especially uh, at the Kentaro, where it just simply couldn't respond because all he would have to do is just peg its head and all those weapons were too low and it couldn't fire back. And the time it moved forward to fire back, I was already in cover. 223,000 C-bills, we got 797 damage with 2 kills, 9 assists, and 2,000 experience. Very nice, and just top of the team. Just barely. Very good. All right, well that's going to be it for this mech's design. We're going to come back probably with the 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 linebacker here again. We're going to do some more stuff on it. I want to do like a, a pulse laser thing, and I also want to do an SRM thing on it. Uh, but that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and good hunting.